Today we're going to be looking at the Victron GX Servo Controller, which has become a key component of any Victron system. The Servo allows you to have perfect control over your system wherever you are and to maximize its performance. Firstly, let's take a look at the Servo and what is contained in the box. You get the Servo Controller itself and a range of connectors. All of these connectors are required to make a quick and efficient installation. The GX Servo has a range of connections the Ethernet port for connection to an internet router, three VE Direct ports for connection to compatible Victron products, the HDMI port for connection to a screen, three USB connections, it has two VE bus connections, two VE CAN connections, two BMS CAN connections for use with lithium ion systems. On the other side, we have another range of connections, four resistive tank inputs, four temperature inputs and four digital inputs, along with two independently controllable relays and the power input. The unit itself is easily mountable using the four mounting feet or also on a DIN rail using the DIN rail adapter available separately from Victron. The system also comes with two compatible screens, the five inch and the seven inch, both of which come with a one meter HDMI cable which allows for convenient mounting away from the controller. If you are using the system in a marine setting or on board, the system can be connected directly to the Raymarine or Garmin multifunction display and the system access through the Victron app. The system, once connected to the internet, allows for remote monitoring through the Victron remote management system and also allows you to change settings. We'll now take a look at the display and the functionality that you can access when using the Servo GX as part of the system. Initially, when the system is switched on, you will see the Victron Power Flow display, which shows all of the elements that you have connected to the system. It shows the inverter charger in the middle of the system. It will then show any AC inputs, any AC loads, and the state of charge and any power coming from the batteries or being sent to the batteries as charge. If you have the solar connected, it will also display any solar array and the power coming from that array on the screen. If you touch the screen, you will then see a selection for the menu. Once you select the menu, you will then be able to go to the settings. There is a whole range of settings, including the basics such as date and time, right through to very sophisticated energy storage systems and also generator start-stop when using an off-grid system. We will look at these settings and how they are used in different scenarios in later videos. Lastly, we will look at a couple of accessories that can easily connect to the Victron Servo to expand your system. Firstly, the Victron GX140 tank sender. Whilst the Servo has four resistive tank sender inputs built in, the GX140 allows for the connection of other senders, such as 0 to 10 volt. Next, we have a third party product developed by Ruvi, which connects directly to the Bluetooth that is built into the GX and allows you to monitor the temperature remotely, be it outside or inside. The more sophisticated one also tracks humidity. These might be used for general areas around the motorhome or your boat, or even to monitor the fridge temperature if so required. I hope this has given you a basic introduction to the GX Servo. If you have any questions, please get in touch. You will find a link to the product in our web store in the description.